Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you checking in. I really, really do. Now, we're going to continue, and hopefully this will be the last part of our two degree of freedom seat mover. And what I had to do in the last uh, couple episodes is test these motors in the original configuration. And yeah, man, they just weren't powerful enough. So I moved them back one foot, built these uh, little tie rods, and that's gonna give it more mechanical advantage because it's gonna be using the U-joint and the back of the chair, the back of the chair is gonna be the giant lever that's gonna move these things a little bit better. Now, when you're doing stuff like this, it's important to you know check for shorts. Now, I took my own meter and I went from positive to negative and I did not have a short, so we're good to go. But if you don't check, you know, you could fry something. So you don't want to do that. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's take a look at what I've done. Uh, I just basically mounted the Hall Effect potentiometers on this, I, this little piece of metal here. Now, those are welded on. This are, these are bent, and the motors are hooked to it. Now, I did the same with both of them. This is going to be motor one, and this is going to be motor two. Um, I did end up welding on a screw here instead of that plastic molly and then i put the um flexible airline here so as you can see it's not it's not perfectly straight but these uh potentiometers they don't need to move very far they're only going to move just a little bit and as on and there's no resistance to them so here we go now before i turn the rig on i'm going to go to smc3 I'm going to start that up, and this is where we're going to see if the Arduino is communicating. All right, so we're going to take a look. We've got motor one. It's on because it's it's within the parameters. Motor two is also on because it's within the parameters, the uh, max limits and the clip limits. Uh, this green line is the potentiometer. So if I go back here, let's see, I'm on motor one. If I go back here and I move this slightly, and I just want to twist this just a little bit, just to see if I can, okay, you can see it moving. All right. And I want to do the same thing on motor two. So I'm coming over to motor two right here. And I'm looking at the green line right here. Now on the other camera, I'm, Okay, so you can you can see that I'm barely moving it. So they, they should be tracking. So what we're gonna do, we have them both on. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and turn it on. Okay, you can hear the fan. Come back to the screen here. Now, um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna manipulate I'm going to put motor two, it's the one on the left side, and put this in manual mode. Now you can see my settings, uh, forward pulse width, pulse width 35 kilohertz. That's the sample rate. The minimum pulse width is 81 max and max reverse are 8, 189. Clip limits 105. Now all this stuff, once you get it set, should be perfect. So. I'm just going to go ahead and move it just a little bit. And you can see the seat moving. And this is basically where I want it centered. Um, if this, I'm going to put it on motor one, that's the one on the right. I'll do the same thing. So the fan that I'm using, it's a pretty powerful fan. It's, it's uh, 3,000 RPM. Don't really need that much for this little setup, but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll put motor one and I'll gently start moving it around. Now it's hard, hard it, the way it looks, it looks all shaky and stuff. And that's just because I'm trying to do this with the mouse or the keypad. But basically, if 
But basically, I think we can go. All right, so let's shut off SMC3. We don't need it anymore, and we're going to start the game engine. So here we are at the game engine again. The first thing we, we want to do is go to interface settings. It's this one. Now, we are on COM4. Once again, we can check on the SMC3 here. We look, and it is on COM port 4, right down here. All right, so you need to close the SMC3. Now, so the SMC3 is just to talk to the Arduino and get the communications correct. Uh, right here, we're on COM4. We've got 50,000, eight data bits, no parity, and one stop bit. Uh, once again, A, axis 1A, and B, axis 2A. All right, so this should be fine. We're going to go ahead and save this. And then we're going to go to the axis assignments, and we're going to test it. So we have the pitch and roll. And by the way, if you switch these around, like say you want your rig to turn like this, and it's actually turning the other way, if you just flip these little switches, um, this, this little orange box, and just make them like this, it'll flip that direction around. So if you're in the, if if it's going the wrong way, you can easily flip it around. But we got surge at 50% and sway at 30%. Uh, so I don't know if sway and roll and all that stuff's hooked up right, but we're gonna see. So we're just gonna go to the output testing, and I'm gonna set up the camera so you can see me moving it around. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and turn this on. And it's going to go three, two, one, and then we test the roll function. So this is going to take two motors and twist them in the opposite direction. And push it that way, and push it this way, and then I can center it right here. Um, I would do pitch, which is going up and down a hill. I would be going down a hill. And once again, I'm not using a mouse, so it's, it's a little bit easier to do if you have a mouse. And the game actually controls it a lot better than this kind of stuff. So heave, we're not going to do that, that's up and down. Sway is like when you're going around a corner. And it seems to work. And surge is acceleration. So. Alright, so... I know that it's working, so let's get into a game. All right, so we get the game manager out, and we go to live for speed. It's the only game I got in here, so that's what we're going to do. And then I find live for speed, and I hope that this this old computer can actually start it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Who knows? Ah. We might, we might be on here. Whoa, okay. We're doing better than we did last time. Looks like the wheel's working. I'm feeling something. Oh, let's go first, second, third, all right, third. Oh yeah, it, it seems to be working good. Okay, so when I'm turning left, it's kind of telling me, hey, you know, the, the, the chair is actually turning left. Turning right, it's doing... This is definitely not as stable as, like, my big rig. But I think I got these particular directions. They seem to be hooked up, okay? Yeah, it's, it's making me lean in a particular direction. Put on the brakes. Go on the gas. Oh, that's, that, that sound is just the, the pedals. Um, all right. Well, like I said, um, this is fun and all. Motors are on. It's working in the game. Maybe I have to do a little bit of tweaking or tuning. Um, it, it does seem to go around the corners in the way that I think it should. 
when you're going around a left corner it's kind of dipping to the right so you kind of lean these motors are not very powerful they're not warm or anything but you know the best way to do this is to just get bigger motors oh my gosh these things have been such a pain because they're so small now i am getting a lot better uh reaction out of the motors than when i had them mounted down here that was they just couldn't handle my big fat body but this way it's it's a lot better but still not what i would consider you know raceable they're just kind of flaky just they just don't have quite the power that you know they should have so really to show you how to set up the uh the, the different forces i'm going to do it on my big rig here with the crab pop motors and um I'm going to consider this video series you know, complete. We were able to take it. We do have a seat we were working in a game. It's not great, but this is my first. I mean, this, we barely turned the thing on. We haven't done any tuning. We haven't done any testing. Um, you want to test each motion one motion at a time. So if, if you're turning left and right and you just want to feel that force, that's what you do you, you make sure that you're not surging or anything like that turn left and right and make sure the seat is moving you know the way that you think and the same thing is if when, when you're going when you're accelerating or braking now when i'm braking it seems like it it goes okay but i need more distance so i'm going to go into the uh, game setup in the in the game engine and I'm going to show you what these different settings do. I'm going to do it on my big rig because I'm way more familiar with that. This one, I've only had it running for like three minutes. And you really need to spend like a couple hours or at least at least a half an hour setting things up on any rig. But, hey, as far as I'm concerned, it drives. It's on a really crappy computer with like no RAM and it's running a game, running this. Everything is acting correctly. So, hey, success. Um, we tried. It took a little while, but, you know, I'm pretty busy, pretty busy guy most of the time. But we're on it. And, um, all right, so next video, I'm going to do it tonight. Um, I'm going to jump in this thing, and we're going we're gonna to go through all the different settings, from zero all the way to something um, that's very raceable. So, you know, I know I've, uh, there's been quite a few people that have built one of these things since I started this little series. And I appreciate you guys getting back to me, asking questions. I'm glad I was able to answer a bunch of them. Um, and, you know, it's just, it's just a matter of time. All this stuff does work. It works just fine. Software, the hardware, stuff like that putting it together, soldering and stuff like that, you just got to follow the instructions. But, um, and, and next thing you know, you probably have a better rig than this. This thing kind of makes some weird noises because I don't have the pedals. They're just kind of resting there, the plastic. Um, so every time I hit the brake or gas, it would go. But anyway, all right, guys, appreciate you checking in. And um, happy 2022. On to the next thing. Drive through penalty. Come on. Look at this. The thing is moving. It ain't moving great, but it is moving. Oh, yeah. I'm getting it. <laughs> oh, it does. Okay, so this is like so far. <laughs> Got an accident. All right.